All right, we're doing an unboxing and we're going fishing all in the same video. That's right, let's get into it. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video today. We're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna do a little hybrid video. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and then we're going to be heading out onto the water to do some fishing. Just gonna combine two of the styles of videos that I generally do, wrap everything up into one nice neat package for you guys and hopefully you will enjoy this. I think you will. I know how you guys love the unboxing content and a lot of times some of you that watch the unboxings probably skip over the fishing videos. So I'm rolling it all into one vid here. As you can see, I have a box here from Sixth Sense. So we're gonna crack into this, take Take a look at everything that I ordered and then we'll head out onto the water on Beetlejuice, see if we can get on some fish. Really quick before we get into it, if this is your first time watching or if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. I put out new fishing videos all the time and I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here. Also, if you haven't seen my previous video, go check that out. It was also an unboxing video and we took a look at a lot of crankbaits. A lot of killer stuff in that video, whole lot of crankbaits. I think you guys will really enjoy it. That's one video back here on the channel. If you haven't seen that yet, when you're finished here, go check that bad boy out. Also, quick reminder, theheaterzone.com. We got a big giveaway going on. Anyone who purchases a piece of merch off the heater zone automatically entered. Here's a quick look at just some of the stuff that's in that giveaway. I can't even fit it all into my hands, but if you guys are interested in getting in on uh, potentially winning all of this awesome free six cents gear, check out theheaterzone.com. That's my merch website. Score yourself a t-shirt and you will automatically be entered to win. We'll pick the winner here at the end of the month. You still have time to get in on the action if you haven't already. Also want to say thank you to everybody who has been placing orders lately. I shipped out another stack of shirts this morning and your support means the absolute world to me. So if you're one of those people that has already got in on the giveaway and already ordered a piece of merch off the heater zone, much love, thank you so much. But let's get off into this unboxing, see what I got in here from the six, and then we'll rip off and catch us some fish. It's gonna be a good time, let's do it. Oh, I got another teal sack, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Two teal sacks. Stoked, man. This is my favorite color sack. Ever since I saw that they came out with the teal sack, I wanted one. It took me forever to get one. Got one in a recent order, and now here we got two more. Stoked on that. Six cents, as you know, go above and beyond. Put your orders in these nice drawstring pouches. Give you a little bit of additional storage. And instead of just wrapping everything up in cardboard paper, packed up nice and neat in these sacks. And I love that, man. Let's crack off into this first one. This is the big one right here. See what we got, see what I went with. Had to stock up on some more of the new 4.5 inch soft plastic paddle tail swim bait, the whale 4.5. This is the pearl white color. Some more pearl whites. This is probably my favorite color right here. This is the ghost ice minnow color. Been doing good on this one. It's like a ghost white with yellow and blue or lavender flake in there. So I went with two of each, two ghost ice minnows, two pearl whites. Loving the whale 4.5. This thing shakes, shimmies, and the head just rolls on this thing so awesome. I fished this on a 5 aught owner flashy swimmer hook. Been throwing it on my ESP heavy moderate rod with the Shimano Scorpion. That's been my setup for throwing the whale. For you guys that have been wondering how I'm fishing this thing, 5 aught owner flashy swimmer, nice moderate action rod. Been doing great. Caught some nice fish on the whale too. Those videos are here on the channel if you guys want to see the whale stick some pigs. It's an awesome soft paddle tail swim bait. Next up out of the sack, we got some divine swim jigs. That's right. Check these out. This is one of my favorite colors right here. The Bone Truce Pearl. Awesome. Next up, saw this color and was like, I don't think I have that one or I'm not sure if I have that one. Either way, springtime, summertime coming up. This is that bluegill spawn. Awesome. Got two of each of those as well. Doubled up just in case I lose one. Four swim jigs to add to the arsenal. But wait, there's more. Let's see what we got in sack number two. All right. Now you guys know I love fishing the catwalk. I fish the catwalk a lot. It's my number one walking style bait. My preference when it comes to six cents topwater baits, but also don't sleep on the Dogma 100. And that's what I have right here. The Dogma 100 in French pearl bone color. I really like the Dogma. I was throwing it a lot before I made the switch over to the catwalk. And I was shopping around looking for some new topwater heat. And that French bone pearl right there is a killer. Nice. Awesome little 100 millimeter top water walking style bait. Got the dark bronze accents around the gill plates. Just a nice bone pearl color. Doubled up on that one as well. 
Two more for the arsenal. Let's see what else we got in here. Boom. Cold water bait. It's winter time. We're in the middle of winter here in Texas. The water temp is dropping, and I think that the jerk bait is gonna come into play really soon here. This right here is one of my favorite colors from the six. This is the Spanish Bone Provoke 106X. Spanish Bone, pure heat. Check that thing out. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this clear water. I love throwing the bone type colors in this clear water. It seems to do really well for me. And that Provoke 106X, had to scoop that up in that Spanish Bone. Didn't have that color yet, wanted to add it to the lineup. Looks even better in person. Next up, what do we got? Crushed Flat 75X 4K Gizzard. I was recently out on a trip and I lost my 4K Gizzard Crush Flat 75X, so I had to place an order and get some replacements. And uh, the 4K Gizzard, one of my confidence colors. Just a, just a killer, just a killer color offering from the six. As you can see, it has that bronze back with the silver striping on the sides, light gray, white belly, and the lifelike scales as always. High quality hardware, laser sharp black nickel hooks, the Crush Flat 75X, my favorite cold water square bill crankbait. Flat sided square bill, super killer in the winter. Love throwing these, especially in the colder months. Caught a lot of fish with this bait. And if you guys didn't see the last unboxing, it was straight stacked with Jane Juice Crush Flat 75Xs. But the 4K Gizzard is another killer option. Next up out of the bag. What the? Of course, shooting a video. Homeboy wants to run the uh, air compressor out in the middle of the street, but oh, hey, we're just gonna have to roll with it. Next up out of the bag, the Snatch 70X Ghost Hot Herring Shad. Check this thing out. Smaller profile lipless crankbait. This is just a nice ghost shad color. Wanted to add this to the lineup. As mentioned, fishing a lot of clear water, and I think that right there is gonna be an excellent option. Got that nice ghost see-through color. Very subtle, really natural, killer. Stoked on that one. Really lifelike pattern on that Snatch 70 right there. Next up, what else we got? Another 4K Gizzard Crush Flat 75X. Doubling up, just in case I lose them. I did lose one of those 4K Gizzards here recently, so I had to load up, and there's a third one as well. Got three of those, three piece and a biscuit on the 4K Gizzard. Let's see what else is in the bag. We got, feels like one more item in here to check out. It's another Ghost Hot Herring Snatch 70X. And that's gonna go ahead and round out the ump. Boxing really quick before we head out onto the water. If you guys are interested in any of the baits that you just saw me unbox, check out Six Cents Fishing, sixcentsfishing.com, and use my code JR10 at checkout. And that's going to give you 10% off your entire order. Everything on the website, 10% off with code JR10. Just wanted to open that pack here on camera with you guys, but now the name of the game is going to be fishing. We're going to transition out there onto the water. We're going to be throwing a swim jig. We're going to be throwing a swim bait, and we're going to see if we can get on them, man. Let's head out, see if we can find some fish. Number one, not bad at all. That's the way to start the day. Haven't been out here for three minutes. Didn't even start the boat. Just started fishing right off the boat ramp, throwing the swim jig. Was out here yesterday, had a freaking monster come off on me. Probably six plus, seven plus pound fish came loose on me. I knew they were eating the swim jig. Caught some other smaller fish. I don't know if you guys have seen that footage. I might throw it in right here so you can check it out, but there's a decent one. Start out the day on the Devon swim jig with a little Kitek 3.8 on the back. Not a bad fish at all right there. Not a bad one at all. Later, buddy. Cool. It's late in the day, but they're still eating. Yeah, man, I had an absolute tank of a fish come off on me yesterday. A, a fish that I feel like probably would have been my second largest largemouth ever. Tank on the swim jig. Hooked up with a tank on the swim jig. First fish of the day. 
is a tank. Yes. That's a monster. Oh my God. This is a six. This is a, oh, she came off. That was a monster. I can't believe that fish came off. That was a six plus dude. Six plus freaking monster. Oh, that hurts, man. I'm freaking gutted. I'm freaking gutted right now. I can't believe that fish just came off. That was a an absolute tank. Easy six, seven pound bass right there. Just came off on me, man. Gosh. That was an easy six, seven. I can't believe that, dude. Oh my gosh. She was stuck. She took one last turn and I just saw it break free. <sighs> Dang, I'm shaking. I'm freaking shaking, dude. That was a tank, guys. She jumped the first time. I was like, okay, that's a nice five. And then she jumped the second time. Man, it was probably more like a seven pounder, if not more. I'm going to say six. Easy. Seven plus, potentially. I can't believe that, dude. I can't believe that fish came off. Oh. That was a whale. I mean, that was a freaking whale, dudes. If I'd have been able to get her to the boat, but she came unglued. That's the way she goes, boys. Can't win them all, but uh, I'm back out here today. See if I can get a little redemption. on the squim jig boater traffic's driving me nuts they got the shoreline all blown out but didn't stop that little guy from eating not a bad fish he's over there in the dirt squim jig getting it done later dude right there off the point right where he was supposed to be totally blown out but he ate over there in the dirt Another one right off the bank. That one ate it in the dirt. Running towards me. That's a quad. Fish number three. Three piece in a biscuit. Boater traffic just wearing me out, beating me to death, but still able to get on a few fish. Nice looking quad. Pretty fish. Haven't caught a guad in a while, man. It's been a minute. Later, dude. Let's see if we can find some more. January in Texas. And the lake is freaking packed with recreational boaters, man. Absolutely packed with wreck boats. It is like in the upper 70s, though, so I get it. No surprise, but man. I wish they weren't out here.
finally. Fish number four is a runner. Stay on. Freaking smacked it too. I mean, molly whopped the swim jig. All right. Phew. Cracked off on it back here in the cut. It's been a while since I caught a fish. Been a while since I even had a bite. There's a nice one right there, man. Nice chunk. Boom, fish number four, four is more. Not the best day of fishing, all this boater traffic, but I've done worse. We'll let him go. Ready, buddy? You get it right over there in the little cut, and I mean hit it. He freaking unloaded on it. Unleashed the fury. Hopefully they're starting to turn back on a little bit, man. Four fish. We need Johnny Five to come alive out here. The fish was right down there. That little mini point sitting in the rocks. Yeah, they're eating. You just got to find them. They're definitely not bunched up. Scattered out. Finicky. Running around, doing whatever they're doing. But found a couple of them eating out here today. Sun's going down on me. I'm running out of daylight, but... I'm gonna fish until I can anymore. I tried throwing a finesse square bill. I tried throwing the flush around a little bit. I also have a swim bait on deck, but swim jig just seems to be the move. So I think I'm just gonna stick with it. See if I can ride it out. Divine swim jig, got divine smoke. The last fish had it made in the shade. He was up in the cut, chilling. Come the airplanes again. He's flying super low. Was oh, he gonna land? Super low, he's flying. Check him out. Cool. Thought he was gonna land for a second. Here comes his buddy. Yeah, those planes can land and take off from the water. They're just cruising though. What up? Cool, but can you catch a fish out of one of them? That's all I want to know. Can you fish off that sucker? You got you got all tracks on that plane? Come on, Johnny Five, come alive in this piece. All right, this will probably be the last spot of the day. Sun's going down. Only got four fish in the boat, so I'm gonna target a bigger bite. Just throw the bull shad for the rest of the day. Six inch, slow sink, dirty bone bull shad. See if we can call up a fat one. Come here, fat girls. Nice. Hooked up on the bull shed. It's a nice fish. Yes. It's a nice fish on the bull shed. Come on. Yes. Johnny Five is alive and it's a nice one. Freaking inhaled the bullshit. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Finally got on a decent fish. That's awesome. Stoked, man. Stoked. Yes, Johnny Five is alive. It's a bullshad buster. Yee. Boom. Another one on the bullshad. Found me a swim bait hit a nice, nicest one of the day for sure. Maybe a couple few pounds. Stoked on that. Let's go ahead and let him go. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Alright man, awesome, awesome. Johnny Five is alive. I'm gonna keep throwing the bull shad, but it's a good way to round out the video. It wasn't the best day of fishing. Definitely not the worst I've ever had. I'm gonna keep grinding until the sun goes down, man. We'll wrap this up back at the house if we don't catch any more fish. That was fun. That was fun.
that was, guys. That is how I ended my day right there with a Buka Bullshad Buster. I was able to crack some on the swim jig. And of course, you guys saw that absolute heartbreaker monstro come off on me on the swim jig out there on a recent trip, as well as the airplanes flying low across the water. I thought that was really cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you sub to the channel. Help us color in the bar back there on the subscriber board. Check out theheaterzone.com. If you guys are interested in any of the six cents baits that you saw me open at the beginning of the video, check out sixcentsfishing.com and use my code JR10 for 10% off your entire order. And as always, anyone who uses my JR10 code gets a shout out on my Instagram. So if you happen to place an order and use that JR10 code, take a screenshot of the confirmation email that you're going to receive. Hop on over to Instagram, follow me at the Justin Royal and shoot me a DM with that screenshot. And I'll give you a shout out over there on the gram, just a way for me to give you guys some public recognition and say thank you for helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here. Your support means the absolute world to me. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch my video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one.